Hey guys, so Cody 17.0 Krypton has been released and for those of you who are running Cody on a Android device, um, for example, the Nvidia Shield, the Mi Box, um, and other Chinese manufactured boxes out there that have the Google Play Store, uh, you will automatically be upgraded to 17.0. Um, for those of you with the Amazon devices, you know, obviously with Amazon devices, the Kodi upgrades are manual, so you will not see this change uh, unless it is manually updated. Kodi has to manually be pushed to the device in order to be able to take that update. So I just wanted to point this out to everybody. Kodi uh, 17 point is a little bit different. So let me just open it up. What I did is I installed 16.0, I installed my personal build and then I installed 17.0 over it just so I can experience exactly what you folks would be experiencing at home. So, you know, I open Cody and there you go, Cody 17.0 Krypton. So it's running for the first time. So it's going to migrate all my add-ons, uh, most of my configuration except the skin because Cody 17.0 uses uh, a new skin called Estuary. So what I want is I want to walk you through how to enable installs for third-party add-ons because you have to enable that or else you wouldn't, you will not be able to do that. I um, also want to walk you through installing the Confluence skin over 17.0, that way you have uh, some sort of familiarity with how to navigate the system because the navigation of estuary is totally different and it would take some getting used to. So let's just give it a couple seconds to let the migration complete. Let's see, okay to that. So there we go. This is the Estuary skin in Cody 17.0. You know, if you go to add-ons, it'll give you a list of all the add-ons. Um, so let's just go up here to this section, which is a settings section. We're gonna click that. Uh, we're gonna go to system settings, and then we're gonna go to add-ons. And we're gonna say no to show notifications. Uh, you know what, let's leave that on. So the one we wanna turn on here is unknown sources. We wanna say yes, it's gonna give you a pop-up letting you know that your device has, you know, third-party add-ons have access to your device. Um, that's always been the case, that's nothing new. Um, so that's on. So with that being said, let's move over into face settings. And we're gonna to go to skin, click on that. You should have two options, uh, estuary touch and the regular estuary. As touchy they call it. Um, let's go to get more. So let's go down here and we're gonna go to Confluence. I'm gonna select that. Would you like to keep changes? We're gonna say yes. Okay, so now we can back out of this and it's gonna bring you right back to Confluence skin, everything you're accustomed to seeing. Um, the shortcuts are gonna be there. Um, let's just click on something real quick, make sure it works. Movies. Uh, let's go to in theaters. Let's 
to arrival. And I apologize for the quality of the video, guys. I'm mirroring the uh, Amazon Fire Stick um, from my TV to my computer, so it's not the best quality video. All right, it appears to be working, so. All right, we're good. I'm gonna go ahead and stop this. And that's a basic walkthrough, guys, of how to enable add-ons from unknown sources and also how to change your skin on Cody 17.0 Krypton to Confluence, which is a skin that most people are familiar with. And just a note, uh, if you have an Android box, and this is specifically for a lot of the Chinese manufactured boxes out there, um, a lot of those boxes are running on Android 4.4.4. Cody 17.0 is only compatible with devices running Android 5.0 and above. So if you're running an older uh, older Android device, uh, Cody 17.0 will not work on your device. It more than likely will keep uh, force closing or crashing on you. So just a uh, word of advice. So, all right, guys, hope this helps. Uh, you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye.